Hello, welcome to Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting. Uh, before I get started painting a simple uh, mountain scene, I'd like to show you the canvas that I'm going to be using. This is um, from the wonderful Fredericks Company, and it is acrylic prime cotton red label canvas, okay? This is a wonderful um, uh, medium tooth canvas, and it's great for any application, okay? So this is a canvas I'm using today. I'd like to uh, thank them for sending me these canvases. All right, so I'm gonna put this down over here. Today, um, I drew on just a simple, simple mountain scene. Um, I'm gonna put some rocks, some water, a little path, and um, especially for beginners. Beginners who maybe don't have too many supplies yet because I'm painting this whole painting with one brush and not only am I just using one brush, very, very limited palette, okay? I'm using four colors uh, plus white and I have a little medium on my um, palette also, okay? So I'm gonna get started with doing um, the sky and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna work down and probably then go back and forth a little bit after I start the sky. So. Um, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking some white. I'm going to move it in the middle of my palette here and taking a little bit of medium and just mixing a little medium in. I'm going to take just a touch of Prussian blue and this is a beautiful rich color. Look at how that that blue comes out. All I did was put that tiny bit and I'm just mixing it really well um, because I didn't mix in my medium ahead of time. You can mix in your medium ahead of time, okay? This is the gel medium and let me just show you. I think I have it out in the front here. This is the um, a premium extender medium, okay? This will help your paint move nicer and it will keep your acrylics um, from drying. All right, so um, I highly recommend you get that when you start painting, it will help you a lot. You could uh, dip your brush in a little bit of water here and there also, or even spray your paint if you feel them getting a little tacky, okay? So today I'm using the medium. It keeps the colors nice and rich. And I have a nice blue there, all right? I'm gonna put my palette back down and I'm just gonna jump right in here and get a little bit of blue. Now, I just drew out very simple mountains, okay? Just three mountains right here and just wanna get some blue in the sky. And I'm going right over a little, that's okay. And I will put some darker colors as we're going up the top of the sky and I will blend them together a little bit, okay? So that's a nice blue. Um, that would be a mid-tone blue. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm taking a little more blue coming over here and I wanna make it darker. I would like this sky to be darker today. I want the whole thing pretty dark. I want it to look like maybe it's a, a stormy day or maybe October and uh, it's just getting, they're just maybe getting darker out, all right? And when I'm putting my brush down, maybe you don't see it every time, all I'm doing is mixing in a little bit more blue at the end of my puddle there and um, mixing it up there, nice and dark. Now, when I go between the colors, I'm just doing it a little lighter, but I want these colors to come together a little bit. We don't want a harsh line, but I like the idea of seeing the brush strokes uh, to me, it makes it look very artsy, and I like that kind of rough look, all right? And especially for beginners. Don't, don't, I don't want you to worry. I just want you to jump in and try it. Okay, so I'm gonna lift up my palette again, and you can see how we're getting darker and darker, and look, I'm going into this real dark blue. I'm gonna just take a drop of medium there. I just dipped my brush in a little tiny bit, and look at that nice, rich color. I'm gonna make it even darker. Nice, rich color, okay? So you can see those three values of blue and going right across here, right into that middle value. And you can see a little bit of a change. So I'm just getting more paint. This, um, this is a very, very nice canvas and the paint's going on very smooth. It has a medium tooth. It's not a, a, um, a wide tooth, which means the grading in that canvas. So it's covering very nicely with these uh, premium acrylic paints. I suggest you buy the best art supplies you can. I love that color, nice blue color. And I'll just fill in this top and work my way down. So you can see I'm getting a little dry there. So I can just dip my brush again in the medium. I could, like I said it before, I can put it in the water. And here we go. I'm gonna try to move over and make sure you can see this motion I'm doing. I'm doing an X stroke. All right, there's a little bit of X stroke. And then when I come down, I'm going a little bit lighter. 
and I'm just going to step back and see, and that looks pretty good to me. It's a nice, rich color. So now I have a back mountain range. When, for, for perspective in the back, the color should be lighter. We want it to look in the distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this light color. I'm not even washing out my brush. I'm going back to this light color a little dip again in that medium and I'm going to get more white because I want it to be different than the sky all right so I'm going to make it real real pale all right I can even go into a tiny bit of brown and change it up even a little bit more all right so when you're using a, um, a limited palette you can try to mix your colors just a few colors and that's how you learn okay there we go so We'll see how that looks here for this mountain, and I think that'll be okay. I'm going to, after I get some on there, I'm going to step back and see what I have. Now, it may be a little too close to the other ones. I think it is, so I'm going to go in more white. I'm just putting more white in there, that same section I was at, all right? And then we'll try that. Oh, now that's better. See the difference? Now I can see the difference between it. So I don't even have to follow my lines underneath. I just want to have something... Uh, for more interest to make it look like a background mountain. So all I had to do was change that color a little. And uh, color harmony in this painting is very easy because all I'm doing is adding a variation of the colors I already have out. All right, so there we go. And I'm going to get a little more in that top, a little more white. And back up here. I really want it to look separate. And I just changed that shape up top a little bit. Okay, so I'll step back, and that kind of already is looking like a mountain. Now, these three mountains, what I want to do is have a little bit of a color change and a little bit of a value change, which means we'll start lighter in the back and keep getting darker as we come closer. This will give a nice depth to the painting. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the brown, and I'm not even washing out my brush. You saw that, okay? And there's a nice brown. And I'm just going to come in here and put this brown in here like this and just paint in some this way. Now, I think that I want to have that be a little bit of gray rather than that brown. So that's no problem. I have this nice warm gray here. I'm going to mix it in with the brown right at the end here. I want to change it to more gray. I don't want it quite that brown. All right, there we go. So, coming back again, and I like that better, okay? So, I'm just going to come in here, make my mountain. I may not want it that, you know, perfect, okay? So, I just kind of roughed it up a little bit at the edge there, okay? And I'm going to come back, and I'm going to put some lighter colors on top and make it look like some crevices and some different rock formations, all right? And I want to pull this out a little bit, again, to show that those mountains in the back are behind it, okay? So I just made this little bit of a rock or mountain formation. Now, my next one in the middle is gonna be darker because it's a little bit closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come, oops, that was the medium. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more gray and move it here. And I think I'll turn my palette the right way. I was upside down there, I put it there upside down. And I have more gray here. Okay, but what I would like to do is darken that up a tiny bit. So I'm putting a little bit of the blue in there. All right, and I have like a bluish gray now. And that darkened it, darkened it just a bit, put a little bit of brown. So again, I'm staying, that was a lot of brown. We'll see how that comes out. Um, I want to stay in the same color family, and there's no way I can go outside the color family when I'm using all the same colors, right? So a little bit more blue. Darken it a little bit. Oops, just got some of that sienna in there by accident. That's okay. Look at that. Going to mix it right in there. Now I have a middle value here. And we'll see if that looks dark enough. So I'll put my palette back down. I will come in. Yep, I think that looks dark enough. And look, just painting back and forth. I'm not trying to be real neat with this. And I want this mountain to come back a little down further. So you can see, I just went over that path a little bit. And that's fine. We just want to get this in. I'll make this come a little bit in front, and then in a little while, we'll get that path in there. All right? So there is my, my second mountain. Again, I could just rough that up a little bit. Don't worry about the brush strokes. Brush strokes look great. And 
I'll be putting more on top of it again. Now, again, I'm going to come in and I'm going to make this color even darker. So I'm just moving this down a little bit, okay? I'm going to get some more blue over here, some more brown, and now we're really going to darken it up. So this looks like a little bit of a blue, gray. Let's put a little more brown in there, a little more blue, a little more gray. Now that'll lighten it, okay, but I wanted it more gray, so that's okay. We'll go back to the blue and back to the brown. And now I should have enough paint to finish up that bottom, and we'll see if that looks dark enough. I think I want it even a little bit darker and a little bit darker. See, I'm adding little bits at a time because if you add too much, you'll have to start over, all right? So the best thing is just add little bits at a time. All right, there we go. I'm going to add a little bit more brown because I don't want it looking quite that blue. And the brown will knock that blue down a little bit. And I think now I have the color I'm looking for. So that's all you have to do is just keep experimenting with your colors. And let's see if that, yep, that is dark enough. So I'll just create the top of my mountain range there. And I'll do this white part first. And look at how nice that paint is going on very, very smooth. And again, like I said, I like that uh, the brush strokes are showing. I'm going to come over this mountain a little, and I want to paint all of this in here now. Okay, so this is just going to be some rocks and all in the front. And I'm just using that X stroke again. And I can come back in if I picked up too much of the underpainting there, the, the um, mountain further back there. I can just add a little dark. Now you can see. Everything looks further back, okay? I'm just going to fill this in this way. Make it look like this mountain is just kind of going around the corner here, okay? You can see my line there. I don't necessarily have to go by that line. All right, there we go. Now, while I have this color in, I want to come put some nice big rocks. This is going to be some water. So I'm just going to come here and put a couple big rocks. Now, you can see I'm just wiggling the, the rock around here, the, the brush. I'm wiggling it to make just a rock. What I, what I would think would look like a, a rock in the water, okay? I'll come back in, put a little highlights on there. So again, same brush. I'm going back and forth between the flat of the brush and the chisel edge. So if I want to really carve something out, you can see I'm using the chisel edge. And if I want to paint it in, I'm using the whole flat of the brush, all right? So we can put a couple of couple of rocks in there. I'm putting three rocks in, of course. We like to have uneven numbers, which I said on a lot of my shows, because um, if you have two of something, the eye seems to group them together. So we try to have uneven numbers, okay? So now I'm looking at my rock formations and they're all kind of the same shape. So I may try to change one and like just come up and just make a different shape like this, okay? just a little bit of a different shape. And this way it doesn't look um, symmetric, you know, or any kind of a pattern, all right? So I have my rocks in there. I'm gonna paint the water around it and we're gonna have some splashes coming up. So, so far this is just going to be like the first um, stage one of the painting and then we'll do like a stage two where I put highlights on top of it and really give it some depth, all right? So now I'm gonna come in the water there. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go back to that blue and I want it to be more pure blue. So I'm just gonna wipe off this brush by squeezing some of that paint out, all right? I'm just squeezing it the way the bristles are going and I'm getting a lot of that paint out. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you now that we're going to just come back to this paint, all right? I have some pure blue here. Now, I have these three blues already and I think I'm just gonna use the pure blue just to pop this background out here, all right? A lot of times we make the dark in the front for perspective, of course, like I said, with the lighter in the back, but because this is the water, I'm going to add darks and lights all over in this painting, because it's the mountains that are going to give it the perspective, not necessarily this whole section of water. So you can see I'm using the chisel edge of the brush, and I'm just rubbing some dark in now. I'll go back to that blue, and I'm using just the straight Prussian at this point. I didn't mix it with anything, all right? So I want this to look rough, impressionistic, so I'm not worried if it, if it looks, you know, doesn't look perfect or smooth, and anybody can do this because all I'm doing is 
painting back and forth on the chisel edge. I want you to give it a try. All right. You can see this is not a, 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 a brush stroke where you have to practice and practice. I'm just rubbing the brush back and forth. All right. So I have some nice dark blue on there now. So now what I'll do is now I will go back to my so-called value study here because the values changed and I'll go into the middle blue. I see that's getting a little sticky. I just put some nice medium in there and you can see how it goes much, much smoother. All right, I'm putting my hand back on the, the end of the brush again. I don't want to put it too much up in the front or I could push too hard and I just want to go very light. Now, I don't see any difference there. Um, so I'm going to come into my white, come back over here and see if I can make a little bit of a different blue. All right, again, back into my medium. And I have a little bit of a different blue. What I want to do is I want to try to have the blue not be exactly the same as the sky color. So let's see if I get a little bit. Yes, I see a little bit of a difference there. Okay, and then we're even going to come down and we're going to make it even lighter. So I want a couple of different, at least three different values of blue in there. So like I said, this is a limited palette painting. If you want to get out other blues, cerulean blues, and mix it in, that's fine. I just wanted to show you that you could buy just a few paints, one brush, and you can get started. All right, I'm going right into some white and back into that lighter pile I had before because I need a little bit of paint. It's starting to dry a little bit over there. So I may have to put a little more out. We'll see in a little while though. And I'm going to start just putting in some of a lighter value. We want to make it look like that water is laying flat, which is why I'm going side to side. But we also want to give it a little bit of depth. OK, so I'm going to stand back here and take a peek at what I have. One thing I do want to fix is this just little part here of the horizon that looked a little bit um, lopsided on one side. So now I put that dark in there, and that was very, very dark. So I'm going to just go and add some in here and there just for color harmony so we have the same uh, colors, you know, the same um, value of that blue, all right, because I put it right in that dark blue. So now it looks like we have a little bit of water movement here and there. Now, what I want to do is I want to come and I want to do this path. So I do want to get some of this blue out. So I'm just going to swoosh it around in the bucket. Got some of that blue off. Not all of it came off, but that's all right. Because I'm going to be going into the um, browns now and the uh, sienna. So I want to make a nice sandy color. There we go. A nice sandy color. And speaking of sandy, I'd like to thank Sandy Gazy for coming here on my show. She's a wonderful marketing executive and for um, giving her input and uh, meeting my crew and being my assistant today. So thanks, Sandy, for coming. And here we go. I'm going back in and putting in some sand. OK. So. I'm just going to put this in in a choppy fashion. And you can see that what I did was I went over into that blue so the sand looks like it's going around. And I am going to change that color a little because I don't think that you'll be able to see that too well. All right, so I will go back. So I'm mostly going in the raw sienna. All right, there is that raw sienna. And I'm going to fill in this whole bottom. You can see some of the blue is coming out of the brush. That's fine. It's no problem. So now you can kind of see better the um, perspective because the, the um, pathway is going in and around. Now, after that dries a little bit, I can come back there and I can um, make that a little bit um, more prominent so you can see that that path is kind of going around that mountain. Right now, it's a little bit wet to do that. So for now, what I want to do is I want to get this nice color in. And I want to chop it up a little bit. And what I mean by chop it up, I, don't, I want it to look like a sandy pathway. So I'll come in and I want to put some, some darker color in here. All right, so I just want to make that look a little bit choppy and not just like a regular beach sand. You can see I painted my easel real nice there. <laughs> ah, what can we do? We can wipe that off. And I'll see. I'll come in with the dark color and see if I can put a little in there to make it look like it's going around. And I did. 
Okay, so I got a little bit in there, and that might help you see that that path is going around, all right? Let me get a little bit more dark in here. All right, I like the idea of that looking a little darker. And then chop it up again with a little bit of light. Now that light's not showing, so I can just put a little bit of white in that uh, sienna. Okay, so I'll show you what I did. I just took my dirty brush, I came over here and I put a little white in there. All right, I'm gonna whiten that a little and I'll just come in here and see if I can get a little bit of variation in. And I think my paint is a little bit too wet, so that's something I'll have to do in the next stage of this, all right? So for now, then what I wanna do is I just wanna go and show you how to make those, these rocks, a uh, mountain formation look a little bit choppy, all right? So now, this background one, it has a little bit of the light blue. All I have to do is come in with a little bit, bit of gray blue. So I just rinsed out my brush there. I should have said that before I did it. So I have this gray here, which is a darker value, okay? And I just want to get a little bit of this blue in there. So you see, I'm just playing with the colors that are on the palette. And what I want to do is I'm holding my hand over now. I just want to scrape a little bit in here. Now, because this was already drying back there, uh, this would be called a scumbling technique where I'm just trying to get a little bit of that paint off and it's just picking up a little bit on the tooth of the canvas and it'll just give a little bit of a detail and a definition to that, that back mountain, all right? So I can come in here and just kind of, all I did was drag it along. That was it, drag it. I'm gonna do the same thing to the next mountain but I want it a little bit darker, all right? So then I'll go back to my palette, see what I have out here already, and something that may work on this is something similar to this color. Notice I'm not even washing the brush again. I'm just coming in here. I may get a little bit of this dark. Oh, look at that, I got a little of that sienna in there. You know what, I'm gonna leave it. And again, coming over and just going to put a little bit of this dark. Now, we don't want it showing too, too much because that's supposed to be further back. Now, you can see I just chopped it up a little, maybe a little bit more dark, just a little bit here and there. There we go, just a little bit here and there. Okay, we, like I said, I don't want to put too much, but you see what I'm doing? I'm only dragging the brush around, okay? Same thing on this one. I'm going to go a little bit darker. Little darker, because now that's in the front. So now I'll go to my blue and come back in here, mix that up, get a little gray, little browns. This is what we did before. A lot more blue. You can see I want that much darker for the front. More brown, dull it down. And we'll try that and see. Blue, brown, blue, brown, back and forth until we get a really, really dark gray color. All right, here we go. So now, the front, oh sorry, <laughs> I, I probably should put a little more in there. I'm gonna go to this, I made it very dark, so I'm gonna go over to the front and see, nope, and that's not even dark enough. So you know what? I'm gonna come in here and just put a little, see, I'm just pulling this brush down, pulling it down here and there. I don't wanna make like a pattern, so I'm gonna try to move my hand back and forth. There we go, all right? I'm gonna put some of this on here and then see if I can make it a shade darker all right, and you see some brown came out of the brush there, but this is giving this a little bit more depth, all right? There we go. I want to come again and even make it darker. So you can see, same thing, like I said before, just darker, 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 all right? I just put more blue on there. When I come down here, I wanna do a little bit darker, get some nice dark in here. And you can see again, I'm holding my uh, brush overhand if I hold it like a pencil, I'll get too much paint off there. So I wanna get some dark in here. This is down at the bottom, this way it looks closer. Really dark here, look nice and close. I wanna come over to these rocks, get some dark on here, all right. There we go, nice dark. And I'm gonna just step back. I may wanna put just a little tiny bit, even though that's the background mountain. I just wanted to Stick out a little bit more. I can use this again. You see, I'm just kind of coming here and there, seeing where I might need a little dark to stick out. So I just need to stand back a minute. And this looks a little too symmetrical here, so I may try to break it up more. All right, so what I could do to break it up is just go to another color. I'm going in some white, in some gray, 
back in the palette where I was. I'm not going to anything else, just whatever colors that were out. And I'm going to come in and just put some of this in here in this middle mountain. I just want it to look a little less. So I put a little blue in there. And I'm going to come put a little bit more in here. All right. So what I'd like to do now, uh, last, is to just put on some highlights and, and really break it up a little bit more so you can see between the darks and the lights. So I did rinse my brush out, okay? It may have some blue in there still. So I'm gonna go rinse it again, try to get a little bit more out. I'm just gonna take a paper towel, wipe it a little bit, try to get a little bit more out than I did before, all right? Now, I'm coming right into the white. Moving some white over here, okay? A little drop of medium. Mix up a nice little bit of white here, all right? There we go. I may not want it quite that white, so I could even put a little sienna in there, and it'll look more like a sunlight rather than um, stark white, all right? So what I want to do then is around these rocks, I want to just come in. I'm on the chisel edge, and all I'm doing is pushing up. This is an impressionistic painting. I'm not trying to make you know, like a wave. I'm just trying to show that there may be some water breaking here and there. All right, we can come around here just so it looks like a little bit of water breaking. And you can see I'm just rubbing it back and forth. I can even turn the brush over now, use the other side. I had some white. I'm just rubbing it back and forth. We want to make it look like maybe that water is starting to break a little onto that shoreline, okay? So I got some blue, some white, because I'm rubbing it together. Same thing, we're gonna now come put some white in here. Try to anchor that water in, all right? I'm looking where my canvas has some, um, some white showing from the canvas that actually doesn't have paint on it, and I can come back and put some paint in those areas, all right? So last, what I would do is, again, I'm turning over my hand, and I can come and make it look like maybe there's some sunlight just hitting on here a little bit, okay? Now we don't want too much because I have a lot of white there, okay? So that might be a little too white. I should do a little bit of the um, raw sienna. Reason being is we don't want it to look like snow, right? So lastly, I'll just put a little bit of highlight on these rocks, all right? Just to make it look like maybe there is some, some light hitting the top of it, all right? Could do the same thing here. And that would be it for this painting. So this painting, um, one brush, again, limited palette. You're just taking your colors, mixing them together until you find a different color for each section, okay? Very, very easy to do. I can come in here, maybe put a little bit of uh, some nice light color on here just to, to break it up a little bit. And that would be it. A very, very um, simple beginner painting, one brush, and you can do the whole thing. So I'd like to thank you very much for tuning into my show today and come and see all the rest of my shows and um, take a look at Deco Art and their, uh, their wonderful premium acrylics and, um, and their brushes and other products. Thank you again.